Hello everybody, this is Bar Yu Thing, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we lost against Crash Awakey, and in today's episode, we're going to take him on in a rematch. Welcome, I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Astoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. Our Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. Okay, so since the last episode I have done some off-screen training, and now everyone is level 35. So uh, Lead Awake is going to send out his Gyarados, level 33, and I'm sending out Plez. Okay, so there hasn't been much uh, change with regards to the movesets. Uh, the only difference was that um, Spooks learned Shadow Ball. Uh, I can't remember what level it was, but I uh, exchanged that for Nightshade. So now uh, Spook's no Shadow Ball. Okay, so Floatzel, let's try and uh, sweep this gym with uh, Baz. So even though we've leveled up, I still think, yeah, I thought this Floatzel would be, still be faster than this, but we should still be able to take it down. Emphasis on this should. Okay, so hopefully Shockwave will do a lot more than it did, because we're obviously higher leveled. Oh, we have much more. Okay, he's going for a berry. God, I think he probably won't heal. So let's uh, switch into Spooks. Art Project, it's not going to do much damage on us, I shouldn't have thought. Okay, let's go for Shadow Ball. Okay, another rock project. That might kill us, actually. Yeah. Okay, we didn't get it to go for Shadow Ball, but... Oh well, no harm, no foul. Alright, Knight. Here's a plan and a half. Let's go for Fly. Oh, what? Do you know Ice Fang? I didn't know you knew Ice Fang. That's not good. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Now, this Fly should take down Floatzel. Again, emphasis on should. I don't think it will, to be honest. Oh wait, no, no, still not quite enough. Okay, what we need is... Well, he's going to heal. So I may as well heal as well. So let's uh, use a super potion. For him. Okay, there we go. That potion's going to fully heal it. And let's go for Bite. Now our project is going to take us down. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Let's go for another Bite. But Brian is going to take us out. But with that damage, we now should take out... I keep saying should, but... We should be able to take this guy out with Plaz now. So let's go for a Shockwave. Crunch shouldn't take us out. And it does, okay. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble here. Okay, so let's uh, go for Metal Block. That's for you. Come on. Yes! Floatzel's down. Floatzel is down. Okay, Quagsire is his last Pokemon. Let's send out Inferno. Because I'm plan planning on uh, sacrificing Inferno for the greater good of the team. Hey, that there, that was a good move. Switching into a fire type was apparently a good move. Okay, whatever. So, Darren, I have no revives. Oh, we're absolutely screwed here then. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and quick attack it. Might as well get some damage up on it while we still can. Rock 2. Okay, they're still going to knock us out. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, let's keep just going for quick attack. Probably our best bet anyway, so let's just keep going for that. Water Pulse? Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Okay, no, we're not. Wow, Jesus. The Inferno can take some hits, I suppose. Okay. No, this will take us down, definitely. 
Hey, I guess I'm underestimated Inferno during that. Okay, we now have two Pokemon. So let's uh, try and angle. In fact, I'm actually using it as a, a sacrifice station. Even though I only have like one po or, uh, three potions. I don't know how many hits uh, thingy you can take, to be honest. Okay, it should be able to take a couple more. Okay, come on. We can do this, come on. Okay. Okay, we have one Pokemon left. A good old starter Nero. Okay. Let's go for Bubble Beam. I know it's not going to do huge amounts of damage, but it did a fair bit against... Oh no, he's going to go for a... He's going to go... Oh no. He's... Oh no. He's going to have another Hyper Potion. No. Oh, whoa, no, he doesn't. Yes, we won this. We won this. We won it, we won it, yes. There we go, we defeated Leader Wake. Hunwa, it's gone and ended. How will I say this? I want more, I wanted to battle a lot more. It seems the Undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you, you've earned this. So yeah, we received the Fen Badge from Wake, and that is our fifth uh, Sinnoh Gym Badge, which is pretty awesome. Need that Fen badge to use the hidden move Surf outside of battle. This is a special reward for me in recognition of your team's power. Okay, so he gives us the TM55 Brian, which, yeah, well, yeah, which is Brian basically. That TM contains the move Brian. It flips double the damage on targets with less than half their HP left. Use it to end battle decisively. Okay, so that's it for that battle. That was actually the toughest gym battle we've had yet, I have to say. But uh, you know, in the end, Nero pulled through for us, despite all those, despite the uh, level up. We still managed to lose, but we did a good job, I suppose. Oh, oh hey, you got the gym badge here, huh? What did I tell you, Mr. Wake? I mean, the master. It's pretty awesome, hey? What's this racket then? Oh, it's you two. Oh, master. Listen, kid, I know your father. I won't deny that, but I don't ever recall taking you on as an apprentice, not in the least. Besides, you two don't need me. You can become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't matter. I made you my master. I decided. Forget that. There's trouble brewing. There's a Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. He said something about using a bomb. What? No one messes with Pastoria, not on my watch. Okay. Hey, Master, wait. Okay, so it looks like uh, Crash Awake and uh, Barrier are some sort of new anti-terrorist group. But, oh well, let's uh, go and heal. And I'm showing the inside of Pokemon Center again, because I seem to enjoy doing that lately. Thank you for waiting. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Look, Barry. Look, it's the uh, the wild Barry Crowbunk. You know, thriving in its natural habitat. Well, you talk to me from here. Okay. okay. There's my new outfit. Look. Yeah, I've noticed. Right. Sometimes, if you stand, if you do that little thing that Barry's doing. Sometimes a crow grunt will run off into the observatory. It's quite funny. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. Oh, this sort of crash wake. Hey, what am I? Chopped liver? Don't forget I'm here too. Even though I already talked to you, but I will. So, where's this Galak? Door! Foy, that was rough. You, what have you done? What have I done, you're asking? Well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. The package that arrived to see, that was a bomb, named the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push the button, so I did. Like, poink! Oh, that's right, mustn't forget, the test results need reporting. Cheerio, then, you daft codger, your mask is absurd. The Great Marsh is invaluable. You two, do not follow me. Don't let anyone else in either. There'll be big trouble if there's any more of that bomb left. Hey, Barley, you go after that Galactic Goon. I'm staying here like Master said. Gotta keep others from going in. Don't let that Galactic guy get away. Okay, so let's uh, get that one. So let's uh, charge in and battle this guy. What's of you? Stop chasing after me. You've got half mine to pulverize you with my Pokemon, but I have to be on my way to the lake ASAP, so you're lucky. I'm out. Alright, do I make myself clear? Don't you dare follow me. Screw it. 
secret, dude. I'm following you anyway. I have a moral obligation. We need the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific mechanical genius. Gra. Could have been Nate Noises Gra. You were eavesdropping, I was just thinking out loud, but I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Boy, this galactic bomb pack's a pretty big wallop. With this baby here, there's not much we can't blow up. Wonder what they have planned for this. Grah, you were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away. I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Oh, he's back. Hello, my friend. The cargo that the Team Galactic brought is worrisome, so I have come. You say the cargo, it was a bomb, and there was an explosion. The explosion was at the Great Marsh. Furthermore, you are pursuing a man, a man with funny bowl cut hair. In an outfit that is very strange, in other words, that is the Team Galactic. Oh no 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 no, how did I miss this? Ah look, at this time you have made a mistake of the ages. The man who I've seen running away, he was the bearer of the bomb. Ah, this will not do. Wait, wait I say. I love Looker, he's amazing. Oh no. Well, in the middle of a uh, chase here, and I end up having to battle this dude. Switch. Let's actually switch into Nero because Nero is close to leveling up, which also means it's uh, it's close to evolving. I was hoping to get Nero to evolve during the last battle, but you know I think I'm gonna have to make do with it evolving here. But you know, no matter. It's not important. Oh, my friend, it's you. I'm at this hotel now. I'm interviewing the people to see if they have any, seen anyone suspicious. I would like your assistant. Go search outside if you will. The suspects, he may have already slipped away ahead unnoticed. Which indeed he has. Oh, I'm gonna do Go that way. There he is. Pants, pants. Why am I running like this anyway? That new world, the new universe that our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it when we use this thing. Where you were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent too, I'm pooped out from all the running, but I'm not going to battle you. Oh no, you're still on my tail, the legs within sight. You leave me no choice, my Pokemon will KO you. Can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. Um, oh, it's Cynthia. Is this your older sister? No, she isn't. Oh, okay. That explosion at the Great Marsh, it wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me to tell you that. That Team Galactic, where? Are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. See you around. He's your friend. He's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? So, getting back to what I started saying earlier. Have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yes, we have. Yes, that's right, by the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that super great group of Psyduck, that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their uh, hands. Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokedex, so it will be worthwhile for you. Okay, so we get the secret potion. Potion, sorry. I went on a big adventure with a Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. So yeah, now we have access access, sorry, to uh, Celestic Town. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to go to the bag. Key items because I think it mentions. Where is it? Yeah, it mentions uh, fantastic medicine dispensed by the pharmacy in Seawood City. Fully heals a Pokemon of any ailment. It's quite funny that they use the secret potion in this game because, of course, uh, Seawood City is in Johto, which is the um, setting of the next games that were released after this, which were Heart Gold and Soul Silver. 
So they're including little hints everywhere, I suppose, in this game. So yeah, we're back into Lacey on Town. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's it for this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed it, please like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. I've been Barley the Thing, and I'll see you on the next episode of Pokemon Platinum. So 